So today we're going to look at what you might need to take with you if you want to use your cloth nappies outside of the house. The first thing I pack in my bag are my cloth nappies. I make sure the nappies are all fully prepped with any boosters in them and I don't use liners but if I did use liners I would put them ready inside the nappy as well. I also do my nappies up which I don't normally do for storage at home but I just think it helps keep them a bit neater in the bag together. As for how many I take, I change every two hours and then I always take a couple of extras just in case we have an unexpected dirty nappy. So if I was going out for say four hours, I would probably take these three and would have changed them just before I left the house. I choose which nappies to take based on how easy they are to roll up. So the easiest way to take a dirty nappy home, I find, is to roll it like this and then you can secure it by overlapping the tabs. This keeps everything nicely contained, you can put the dirty wipes inside as well. Some nappies don't have an overlap on the waist poppers. You can see this one here, that does, so I can roll that one and pop that one closed, or this back one does. Uh, this one doesn't have any overlap poppers, so if I do end up accidentally taking this out, which is normally because I've kept this one on him when we've left the house, then I can roll it up, but there isn't really any way to secure it, so I just have to kind of stuff it in the wet bag and hope for the best. I also take out my cloth wipes. I use cheeky wipes, but there's lots of great options out there. You can just use whatever you have. Um, I have the cheeky wipes bag to keep the wet wipes in, but you can buy a small mini wet bag instead. I've washed this one a bit, so it's sort of faded. Um, and I just put my wet wipes just in the bag that out, just drop them in. As for how many to take, I tend to use, if I had a wet nappy, I would only ever use one. For dirty nappy, like literally worst case scenario, I'd use four, so I would base that. So if we're taking out, so we're going out for four hours and we're taking those three nappies, then I would probably take six wipes out with me, maybe a couple more if I've got some hanging about. You can also take the wipes out dry as well and then just wet them. Most public changing rooms have a sink in them, so you could just wet them as you need them if that's easier. That is handy in terms of then you can leave the dry wipes in the bag until next time you come out. I have occasionally left these in the change bag for a couple of days and then they do get smell a bit musty but you can just bang them in the wash and it freshes them up. The reason I don't take dry wipes out anymore is because I had this really unfortunate incident when I was travelling to my sister's house and it's the only place I was going and I was just going to you know, use her tap in her house and then my baby had an absolutely horrendous dirty nappy on the journey and I was stuck trying to wet some wipes with a, my bottle of drinking water and it just didn't go down very well and so from now on I always take my wipes out wet. Wet bags are pretty much essential you'll need this to store your dirty nappies in so on the whole most of them are a zip opening and um, you can get some uh, sort of open at the top and roll down and um, so you just put your dirty nappy in there and then if you've been unfortunate enough to get your change mat dirty you can pop that in there too. So I'd look for one that is big enough to hold a good couple of nappies and also consider if you want some sort of hanging tag. So this is just a simple loop that doesn't unpopper. I have got some that unpopper which is good and I've also got one that has got two loops here that unpopper so then you can hang it like that on your push chair which is great if you're going out for the day and need a bit more space in your change bag for extra bits and bobs. I always keep a change mat in my change bag. Um, I tend to use different ones in the house, so I've got sort of ones I can leave in the bags there, and I know they're always in there. I always look for one that is really compact. You want something that folds up small, just take up less space in your bag. Um, ideally, something you can open with just one hand as well. This one, which is from BB Bow Diapers, is really great. It's a huge size, and um, I can't really fit it on the camera. It's, it's really big and um, it's a nice soft bamboo as well. You want something that's a little bit absorbent so if your baby does do a wee join change it'll catch it and then you won't get wet clothes as well. And something that's a bit soft and comfortable and not going to be cold on, on their back. I also look for one that's easy to wash as well. If I have put my change mat on a public change table then I will always want to wash it when I get home to keep it nice and clean. So I look for one that is going to wash well and really last. A lot of change bags come with um, change mats included with them and if you're happy with the one that comes with your bag then brilliant, just keep on using that one. And lastly is a couple of little extra bits I always keep in the change bag. One is some nappy cream. I don't really use it so much now but when my baby was younger he would get nappy wash just occasionally, sort of unexpectedly, so it's always useful to have something in the bag to treat that. I also keep a few dry wipes in the bag. Um, 
partly because when my baby again was younger I used to have to dry his nappy area after wiping him or he would get a bit sore so I used to have some spare for that and then I just keep a couple extra in there just in case I need some because the wipes are so useful for everything. It can seem really daunting using cloth outside the house but it really doesn't need to be. You'd probably have a change mat in your bag anyway and you'd probably have nappy cream in your bag anyway. So taking those away it's just simply nappies which will be used to packing, wipes which will be used to packing and then you just need a wet bag but they normally be packing nappy sacks anyway. You'll also find that wet bags are so incredibly useful and if your baby needs a change of clothes you can bung any dirty clothes in the wet bag as well. Thanks for watching! This video is a suggestion from one of my lovely subscribers. If you have any ideas of things that you'd like to see videos on, please pop a comment below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe for more content.